Let's run down Vance, top 25, show you all the guys that really are the cream of the crop in college basketball, in high school basketball right now. Number four overall is Louisville bound Samardo Samuels, 6'9", the body of a grown man at the moment, sitting out. Number nine is B.J. Mullins, who, correct me if I'm wrong here, Van, committed to Ohio State before he ever played a varsity basketball game three years Just ago. Just another in the long line of those great big men they seem to have at the Buckeyes. Number 11 is a 7'2 big man named John Reek Suez. He's only committed. What kind of talent is this kid? Well, he's got an 8'4 wingspan. He runs the court like a 6'6 forward. Enough said? <laughs> I think so. All right, Mississippi State landed one of its biggest recruits in school history, 6'6 swing man Scotty Hobson. Rounding out the top 25 players, he got point guard now from Leah 23. He's heading to UCLA. Luke Babbitt and Oregon-bound big man Mike Dunnigan. So the 2008 class so far, where do we shape up in terms of Vance top 10 recruiting classes? That's the big question. So many fans who are loyal to their programs want to see where their class stacks up. And number one, you have UCLA. Was that a hard call to make? No, it really wasn't. One of the greatest backcourts I think they've recruited at UCLA in a long time. All right, Louisville number two, Florida three. I guess Billy Donovan flirting with the NBA didn't affect the Gators at all. No, it didn't. And I think the thing they have is they have some playing time. They got some really good up front guys that really rounded out their class with the backcourt they got last year. Uh, we have many more comments from Van on his top 10 classes. The big night of National Signing Day coverage here on Generation Next. So big, Seth Davis and Coach Steve Lapis are also with us. Guys, happy signing day to you. Yeah, it is a very happy signing day all around. I know it's very happy for Steve Lapis because this is one day you said you don't miss as a coach, right? Well, Tell me you know, why. I, the, the big thing I don't miss about today is getting that phone call from somebody after you put two years, three years in the recruiting room and he says, I'm not coming. That really will drive you nuts. On the other hand, it is, a, it is like winning the biggest game of the year when the guy you want decides to come. So it's a day of mixed feelings, and if you coach long enough, you're going to get both those feelings. It's hard to imagine how you guys base your entire livelihood on the whimsical decisions of these youngsters making their decisions this week, finalizing their decisions. Tell me about the business of college basketball recruiting. What do you think is the biggest change in recruiting now from when you first started as a coach, low those many years ago? Well, one of the biggest changes, Seth, has been that in the old days, we call them the old days, kids didn't visit till their senior year started. Now kids are making these unofficial visits in the summer before their senior year or during their junior year, and they're making their commitments long before the signing day. It used to be that today was a day where there were press conferences galore. Now you don't see that as much. The other thing that comes with that is you used to deal a lot more with the high school coach in recruiting. Now you deal much more with the AAU coach who has these kids out on the July circuit all summer. So in the old days you first start out, it's the high school coach, the family. Now it's become more and more with the AAU coach that college coaches have to deal with.